Hello Pisces, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. This is a general reading. It won't resonate with everyone, so please take what resonates for you. I'll look at your moon and the rising signs. Now I'm going to take a traditional tarot card here and then we'll clarify the card with the gilded tarot. So this is the star card. This is healing from past experiences. It's rejuvenation. Um, you might be healing from past challenges here or anything you've been through. But there's new hope coming in. You could have been through a tower moment as well. We'll see what the tarot says because the star card comes after a tower moment. But there's a healing period needed here. So you're going to heal from this and it's about you gaining back your mojo and feeling good about yourself again, becoming the star of your own show. So let's see what this is about. Spirit, please show me clearly what this is about. Seven of Wands, beautiful Queen of Wands, very attractive energy, and the Six of Wands. Now, this could have been that you've been through challenges where you've needed to stand your ground. Uh, it can be that you're being determined to get over your past, most definitely. You're ready now, you're healed, you're on the healing path, you're being looking after yourself here, you're taking an interest in yourself, there's self-love all that type of thing. But this is about standing your ground and being determined. So like I say, if there's been challenges, you might have had to speak up here, but you've got the upper hand now. You're definitely in a position here that you've got the upper hand to go forward. You've learned a lot here, so you can take this knowledge with you uh, for future reference. But you are looking great. You're going to recover if you haven't already. You're going to come into this beautiful Queen of Wands energy, and she's somebody who looks very attractive. You can see it. She's appearing passionate. She's healed from her past challenges. She's been happy. She stood her ground and she's ready to put her heart and soul into something that she is passionate about. Now, wands are Aries, Leo or Sagittarius energy here. And because you're in this beautiful, attractive energy, you can create, well, you'll attract in beautiful people. We'll clarify these cards in a minute, but you're appearing attractive to the outside world. Um, this is you moving on from your challenges. You've moved on from the challenges. There's a certain amount of success. If you haven't, you will. You'll heal from this. You'll get over this. This guy's been through, you know, I'm saying she. This is not a gender specific reading, by the way. This is about the energies on the cards. So I'm saying he here. He's been through battle. But what's happening here is he's been victorious. And he's been victorious because he's stood his ground and he's been determined here. So you've been, you've done well. Or you will do well. You'll get to this stage um, of feeling good about yourself again. So let's clarify the Seven of Wands energy here. The Queen of Cups. Beautiful Ten of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. Now, being determined, you're going to move forward. You've listened to your heart chakra here. It's about following your heart chakra. Now, you can be compassionate. She's a compassionate queen. Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy, compassionate queen, but there's been trouble in the background. But in the end, she does right what's right for her. And that is how she follows her heart chakra, listens to her intuition and gets herself into this beautiful place of healing uh, and being feeling good about herself again. Again, not a gender specific reading, um, but she's moving forward there. She's doing the right thing. She's determined to go where her heart tells her. Um, and she moves forward very, very quickly. There can be a sudden movement energy. Now, because you're attractive here and you're appearing attractive, there could be emails and texts coming forward, new opportunities coming forward. These could be love messages coming in because somebody is being drawn to you because you're in such a beautiful place energetically. You attract suitors in. And this is about you here. There's lots of blessings at the end of the rainbow. So you've done the right thing here. If you're not, take care of yourself. You are still going through this healing process. You will get there. Like I said earlier, the star of your own show. That's what this Queen of Wands is. She's absolutely beautiful. You're becoming the star of your own show. And there's lots of blessings here at the end of your rainbow. So these are blessings after challenges. They don't come in unless you've been through challenges. So you're healing or you've healed. So let's see the Six of Wands energy because he's very successful. And when you're in sixes, there's only more success to come for you. Four of Wands, beautiful temperance energy. And um, this is a Sagittarius energy. And the star card again. What can I say? Now, this here is about healing, you becoming into your own, into your own again. 
uh, feeling good about things. There's a lot of stability coming in here. Now, we did say you could be attracting somebody in who you could build something very stable with here. So there could be, you know, this could be a, a relationship that's going to be very successful for you and it could move you forward to family and moving in together. It's very successful energy. And that's what I'm saying. When you're in this beautiful energy, you will only bring more success into your life. So you're balancing things out here. You're going to be very happy. Um, you're going to be happy with the progress that you're making within yourself. Now, this is understanding here as well, that if I'm feeling great about me, that's what I need to take care of. It's about healing, looking after myself here, and the rest just falls into place. And there'll be a beautiful balance and harmony coming in, whether it's you feeling great again and healing from things, feeling good about yourself, feeling attractive. Why not? Put yourself out there. Um, or it's somebody else coming in that you could have a well-balanced relationship with. Yeah. You've had to show a lot of strength and courage here, most definitely. But always remember, you're stronger than you give yourself credit for. And think about what you've been through. And when we do that, that gives us our confidence to go forward and feel good about things. You've survived up till now. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.